This is Dale of Top Gun Dog Training. Today I want to talk about something that I get asked about on a daily basis. Here's the situation. Somebody will call me or email me and say, my dog is two, four, six years old, and all of a sudden they started chewing on something, or they started pulling on the leash, or they started barking at other dogs, and they never had this behavior before. Is this something you can help with? And I'm going to give you some tips. There's two things primarily that you want to look into to solve this problem or, or to find out the underlying cause of this problem. Number one, when a dog all of a sudden is an adult and develops a behavior, it's usually because something in their routine and structure has changed. Let me explain. When a dog has, gets up in the morning at a certain time, goes outside and exercises, comes inside, eats, gets some affection, does some mental stimulation with you, and then they do that later in the afternoon, and then you do that again in the evening, they get used to that routine. Also, when your dog is socialized, maybe you bring the dog to the dog park, maybe you bring the dog to a daycare, they get used to that as well. They get used to the certain amount of exercise. So, if something has changed in their routine, they're likely going to take that out in a behavior change. This will show up as a mirrored image back to you that you have changed something in their routine and they're not happy about it. So let's say, for example, you're an accountant and it's tax season and you used to take your dog for more walks and spend more time with your dog. But now you're working 12 hour days because you're getting taxes prepared for April 15th for all of your clients. Then you're not able to spend as much time with your dog. Your dog doesn't like this. Your dog is going to start doing things inside the house, such as chewing on things, maybe peeing in the house, maybe not being so happy on the walk because they're not getting as many walks. This is a real life scenario that I'm having with one of my clients. Another thing is, let's say that your dog used to go to socialization all the time at a daycare or at the dog park and they're interacting with other dogs. This socialization helps make your dog a balanced, stable dog. It gives them some of the things that they need. Well, if you're unable to bring the dog to those, those socializations regularly like you used to, the dog is going to start to develop behavior issues inside the house and on the leash that's a message to you to say, hey, look, you've changed my lifestyle and I'm not happy about it. And you need to pay attention to those things. That's number one. That's the scenario number one. Here's another scenario. Let's say you as the dog owner all of a sudden developed stress. You have some anxiety. You're worried. You have some things going on in your life. Maybe you're having challenges with your relationship. Maybe you're having issues with your job. Maybe your health has changed you know, suddenly for various reasons. The dog is going to pick up on this because they are attuned to the intrinsic energy inside your body. They're, a, they're attached to that. If a dog has lived with you for a period of time, even for a couple of weeks, they're going to pick up on your intrinsic energy and that energy is going to be part of the dog and the dog is going to reflect that back to you. So let's say you're having issue with your job and you're very stressed out, you're worried, you come home, you're very you know, upset, and you're just, you're just not in a good place. You want to get another job or you're not sure what's going to happen with your job. The dog is going to pick up on that energy because you're bringing that mindset into the walk when you're, effect, you're giving affection to the dog and other things like that. So you need, to take a, you need to check what type of energy you're bringing back into the household from outside the house and make sure it's not affecting the dog. Another thing that happens is if something new comes into the household, say you have um, you know, friends come over or you get in a new relationship and that person's suddenly coming over, you need to take an evaluation of that and see how that new energy coming into the house is affecting the dog. Uh, other dogs will affect other dogs. I have this a lot. Well, I have two dogs and we got another dog and now all of a sudden everything's chaos. Yes, it is going to be chaos. You have to manage that. 
as a dog owner, if you're managing two or three or four dogs, you have to really manage that as a parent and take control of everything and be a pack leader of all of those dogs or else they're going to have, all have behavior problems because they're going to get jealous and they're not going to know who's in charge and one's going to try to be the dominant of all the other dogs and it's just going to be a mess that you need to, you need to address early on when you get new dogs into the household. So I hope these tips help. I get asked this question a lot and I'll be happy to do a free consultation if you're local in the South Florida area and see if I can help further with any of these issues and give you some tips in person and hopefully we'll become uh, you know, a team where we can help your dog be, him, be, be better and live a happier and more healthy life so he's a better, he or she is a better companion to you. This is Dale of TopGunDogTraining.com.